Hey guys, welcome back, TSM here. Here we go, version two of the Brute Hull. So um, I've ranked these and I've put some armor on them. It's the, uh, it's the routine armor that you put on the lionfish. I've only got three holes, you'll see. Uh, I think that's all we need at the moment. Um, three holes, yeah, I, I haven't used all the same armor, I must admit. Uh, it obviously takes six slots if you want to, but um, I've actually gone for four of the, um, four of the pen plates and two of the explosive plates. I'm quite content at the moment with um, with the fleet. Uh, it uh, seems to be doing okay. I don't think you need five ships. Well, you clearly don't need five ships. You'll see some timings here. I did four runs on this. Uh, I'm not going to watch all four, but uh, just to show that you can get some um, pretty uniform all sort of like timings. Uh, there's no crew on this at the moment. It's just like I say, it's a, a bluff countermeasure ship uh, and basically two uh, full power ships. Uh, that's first run. Look, it's coming out. Look, just uh, penetrative only just under 10 minutes. Here's the second run then. But this time then, let's have a look at the ships. Right, so we've got obviously, um, yeah, like I said, we've got uh, four four pen plates, two explosive plates, and everything else is the same really, damage diffusion system. Um, obviously I've got the, uh, the cat measure special there, and I've got obviously um, K2 bombardment, cluster warhead three, uh, fin ray engine, and explosive battery. Uh, there's the full power one, and obviously I've got obviously the new uh, special as well that just came out on the uh, when the uh, when the ship was released. So um, yeah, the, the reloader. Sorry. Uh, apart from that, everything else is pretty standard to be honest. Um, yeah, they, they seem quite nice. They, they turn quite fast. I mean, yes, I've used a uh, no crew there. There's another one minute one. Uh, I did add uh, a splash crew. So what of maidens? I didn't use it here. Obviously this one here, I use the, uh, the one down, but the stats the same, it's just that the other one lasts longer, it's the only picture I had. So just to see if it made a difference really, I didn't think we need any more building damage, because they seem to be dying pretty quick to be honest, so um, I just left that as it was, so I thought well the only thing you could possibly do is a bit splash maybe, and and with this as well it gives you a bit more, um, a bit more spread. So I whacked this uh, crew on just to see what difference it would make, I didn't think it made a huge amount of difference to be honest, um, I mean, you could try some other crews, but I mean, or not using it at all, to be honest. Everything seems to be instant fixed in base. But, um, yeah, with this crew on, then basically I uh, I thought, well, I'll, if, if it does something, then great. If it doesn't, then don't worry about it. So there we go. Uh, we're, we're down to sort of six minutes on that one there. Um, last hot, then. This is... Uh, I'm not so sure about roots as well. The roots seem okay, but um, I don't think you need to worry too much about, you know, if you didn't get a perfect route, because... I don't think any one of these routes is the same, and the, the, all the damage seems to be pretty even, to be honest. So, don't get too concerned about routes and damage. I don't think I'd armor any more than three at the moment because, um, you know, there, there should be some armor coming. It'll be in pillage, or it'll be in a TLC, or it'll be in the next raid. So, I, I wouldn't rush too much. But if you haven't got the tokens, I have the tokens, so I just slap these on. Anyway, here we go. There's another one, just over five minutes. That's not too bad, is it? I'm sure we can probably get down to instant fix on the sea. But anyway, here's the build. That's the flagship, okay, or notional flagship. Uh, and there's, I've got two of those there. That's the, um, that's the normal brutes. 